Here's the first problem on the back side of the chapter 12 day 3 worksheet upper left hand corner. The tower on the top of the hill is 60 feet tall. First thing you got to do is figure out this picture that's been drawn here for us. So this is the tower from here to here, 60 feet tall. Next thing it says that uh, at a point uh, on the base of the hill, the angle of elevation, or there's a, there's a surveyor. Here's the surveyor standing down here. Uh, the angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 42 degrees. That's the whole entire. So from, that's 42 degrees. That whole angle is 42 degrees, which will be useful to us in that we need to recognize this as a right angle. We're under the impression that the tower is standing straight up and down. Um, the angle of elevation to the bottom of the tower is 18 degrees. That's going to be this one right here to the bottom of the tower is 18 degrees. How far is the surveyor from the bottom of the tower? So we're looking for this distance, the surveyor to the bottom of the tower. We're looking for that right there. And right now I got the whole angle is 42 degrees, the small angle on the bottom is 18 degrees. That should lead us to the fact that this angle here is 42 minus 18 or 24 degrees. That's going to be really useful to us because when we set up our law of sines, sine of 24 over 60 will be equal to the sine of this angle over this guy right here. Um, but first we need to figure out what that angle is and that's where this comes into play if that whole thing's 42 that's 90 this one up here must be 48 degrees so now I can set up the sine of 24 degrees got that from our 42 minus 18 over 60 feet tall that's the tower is equal to the sine of 48 degrees over x. We should be able to solve that at this point. Grab your calculator, make sure that it's in degrees, 60 sine 48, and uh, divided by the sine of 24. I get approximately 110 feet, 109.6. x is approximately uh, 109.6 feet. Key things to this one deciphering the 42 minus 18 and also recognizing that you need to put together an entire right triangle here to get that 48 degrees then the picture comes a little clearer and you use that law of signs in order to solve for the missing x there